In my opinion, I think it's very important, extremely important for a quarterback and a receiver and a quarterback and a tight end, quarterback and his pass catches to have excellent chemistry on the field. It makes such a big difference. You could tell when they know where each other are going to be. They know when the quarterback does a certain thing, then the receiver like, okay, I need to respond this way. Or if a receiver does a certain thing, quarterback like, all right, I got him. I know what he's about to do because it just makes the product of their football play that much better. But then when they have off the field chemistry, it, it, it takes it to a, a whole nother level. Um, I can liken it to when, if you're working with somebody, say for instance, you got a group project that you got to do at work or even at school. And you got a, a certain group of people that you're assigned to do that project with. If you go to school with these people, you see them all the time, or you go to work every day and you work with them, you could be like, okay, yeah, we got this work camaraderie or whatever, but if you're friends with them outside of work, or you're friends with them outside of school, oh man, it makes you enjoy doing the project with them that much better, because y'all have both on and off the field chemistry, or on and off work, or on and off school chemistry, and it seems like that's what's starting to happen with Odell Beckham Jr. and Lamar Jackson. Because apparently this weekend now, this weekend they were at Club 11 in Miami celebrating. Just having a good time, chilling and whatnot. Even though in the video that we all saw, it looked like Lamar Jackson. It looked like he did not want to be there. It looked like he was ready to be out. Maybe he already did enough dancing for, for the night, but he, it looked like he was done. But Odell Beckham Jr., you know Odell Beckham Jr. always ready to dance. We've seen it in the NFL. We've seen enough videos of him. He always ready to dance. But anyway, um, so and, and apparently that video that has been circulating around, that was from this weekend. So that was from before the deal was even official. But something that I read yesterday, I'm going to read to y'all. It was from none other than the woman who has been covering Odell Beckham Jr. from Jump. And she's been covering a lot of stuff that's been happening with the Ravens from Jump as well. That's Josina Anderson. Let's hear what she had to say. This is from yesterday now. She said, yesterday, um, so two days ago, because she reported this yesterday, and she, in her tweet, she said the word yesterday. So two days ago, she said, yesterday OBJ told me that he was feeling more love from the Ravens, even though he was set to visit the Jets Monday. Odell always follows his heart. Today is no different. Now, I mean, $15 million guaranteed, especially uh, we've been hearing a comparison saying that no receiver got more than like $11 million guaranteed this offseason. But $15 million guaranteed, yeah, I will have a lot of love for that team too. But I think what she was saying, it goes beyond just the bread. Obviously, the bread is the, the biggest thing. That's the most important thing. Like, go get your money. I ain't mad at that at all. And I ain't going to try to act like, oh, man, it's something else. this is all about love or what? No, no, no. It's about the, the money. But... With her saying that, that, that he was feeling more love from the Ravens, I think you could take that and you could break it down a couple of different ways. The video with him and Lamar, so they obviously had linked up. And with them linking up prior to it being official that he signed with the Baltimore Ravens, that could have had a lot to do with it, a whole lot to do with it. Because him and Lamar, I'm sure they talked, I'm sure they hung out or whatnot, and you, you know they talked. Obviously they talked. Sure, they talk fun, but they talk business, too. And I, I wonder if Lamar may have given OBJ his word, like, hey, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. If, if, if you go, I'm going to go. And vice versa with Od Odell Beckham Jr. So Odell Beckham Jr. don't win. Let's see if we get some news on Lamar this week, too. It would be nice. I mean, I don't think any of us would mind it at all. Um... But on, on, on the flip side of that, well, not even on the flip side of it, but just looking at it from a different angle with Lamar Jackson, um, well, not even Lamar Jackson with the Baltimore Ravens, uh, with him, with Odell telling Josina that he just felt more love from the Ravens than well, from the Jets. It could have been his role, whatever his role was going to be. Because when you think about it, and, and we talked about it, Yesterday in the video, um, in the video where we, we had our doubts about Odell Beckham Jr. going to the Ravens, because I, I for sure did not think this was going to happen. Like I told y'all, I, I was for sure, I was certain that we were going to get that message that we always get. The Baltimore Ravens made a competitive offer. The Baltimore Ravens tried. The Baltimore Ravens really attempted to sign Odell Beckham Jr., but he decided to choose the New York Jets or decided to choose another team. I, I just did not think that they were going to close this deal. Um, but what the Baltimore Ravens could have done within Odell Beckham Jr. 
uh, they could have told him, like, look, you like, yeah, if you go to New York, you can go play over there with Aaron Rodgers and whatnot. And, and I'm sure you would have fun and whatnot, that, that things would go well. But what's your role going to be? Where are you going to be at on the depth chart? Like here, hey, we all about competition and whatnot, but straight up, you're Odell Beckham Jr. We know what you're capable of. We know what you can do. We have a Rashad Bateman who we believe in, and we know that the sky's the limit for him. He just got to get the opportunity, get the continued opportunity. We just signed Nelson Aguilar too, and he's going to be a contributor as well. But then after that, it's a lot of questions. We got Devin DuVernay who early on last season, he was starting to come alive. But then when Rashad Bateman went down, so did Devin DuVernay. And then with James Prochet, then Tylen Wallace, it's like it's, it's murky after that. So with Odell Beckham Jr., the Ravens, they, they, they could show him more love because they can give him more love. And he's guaranteed to get more love on the Ravens than he would with the Jets. Because, again, the Jets got Garrett Wilson. Nice. Young dude, too. They just signed Alan Lazard. He's straight as well. They just signed that Bernard McCole Hallman. Ooh, they still got Corey Davis for now, even though we ex all expect that to change. Um, so if Odell Beckham Jr. would have went over there, he, he would be a contributor for sure. But his role would probably be much bigger on the Ravens than it would be with the Jets. So I, I, I could see that. That's why when the, 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 this came out about uh, when Jacina said that he got more love, from the Ravens, I can understand that on multiple levels. So him and Lamar, them vibing together, and then the his, his whatever his role would be with the Baltimore Ravens is definitely going to be a, a more significant role with the Ravens than it would be uh, with the Jets. Monkin, Todd Monkin, former offensive coordinator. Not saying that Odell couldn't learn a new offense because you know that he could. He'll be just finding another offense too. But he got a previous offensive coordinator that he's familiar with the offense, so that helps. That helps ease him in that much more. That makes him more comfortable already. And then the, the, the cherry on top, the money. Even though, I mean, that, that was like way before the cherry on top. They show you that money. In. And now, I, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about the overpay in a bad way. And I, I can get it, but like we talked about yesterday, did the Ravens overpay? Yes, they certainly did overpay for OBJ. They overpaid for sure. But this is something that we've been talking about for a long time. I, I, I really wish we could go back in time, go back to Lamar's rookie contract while he was on it, and I wish, really wish they would have done something like this way back then. They didn't. Hopefully they learned their lesson. They, 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 this is something they should have done a long time ago. But anyway, we're here now. But with Odell Beckham Jr., did they overpay? Yeah, they sure did. But they had to. They had to. Ravens known for making receivers and having these receivers go off and having these receivers get 1,000, 1,200 yards and all. Are they known for that? No. Or are they the home of developing and drafting the receivers? No. Even though their last two first-round picks have been a lot better than a lot of other stuff that they've tried. So shout-out to Hollywood. Shout-out to Rashad Bateman. But Ravens have not been known to be this team that has been great with wide receivers. And they also are not a team that's been known to even pay wide receivers. So they had to jump out there. They had to. They had to jump out there. While they are a well-respected organization around the league and we get that and whatnot, that's great. They're not respected at wide receiver, and they haven't been for a very long time. So they had to do something out of the ordinary. And I, I love how they did it, too, because... They gave him an offer he couldn't refuse. They said that he shopped it to the Jets. Apparently, he, he, he took it to the Jets and was like, hey, y'all want to match this? I'm giving y'all a shot. Go there, but, hey, I ain't mad at it either. Oh, hey, get your money however you can. You got to use the Ravens like, like a lot of people have. You got to use the Ravens to build up your price. Do what you got to do. It's a business. I get it. So he apparently took the Ravens off and showed it to the Jets and was like, hey, what's up? And the Jets were like, oh, yeah, no, that's not what's up. <laughs> no, thanks. But Ravens, they gave him a deal he couldn't refuse. They jumped out there. They stepped way out of their comfort zone for Odell Beckham Jr. And I appreciate that.
I, I, I've been waiting on that. And they finally did it. Even though I, I'm sure this is a desperation move to keep Lamar Jackson. Oh, and I get it. Hey, no problem. Do what you got to do to keep Lamar. Do what you got to do to make him happy. You, again, you should have done this years ago, but it is what it is at this point, and we're here now. So I'm glad that stuff seems to be going in the right direction. Now we're just waiting on one more. We'll see how that goes. Team keep it clean. Like it really doesn't seem like Lamar Jackson is going to be. And like the Ravens told Odell Beckham Jr. with that offer that they gave him that you will absolutely not be Odell. We out.